Hello and welcome to the video of the Revit series by BIM Technologies. So this video is in continuation of the last video that we have discussed about the curtain walls. So here we are going to discuss about what is a curtain system. Now let's go to Revit and understand what is a curtain system and see how we can create the curtain wall systems from the existing masks that we have. Now to understand more about the curtain system we need to understand why the curtain systems is required. Now, the curtain system is basically a system that is created from the face of a mass, existing mass object that is created in Revit conceptual stage. Now, the building mass over here that we have already existing here in the screen, you can see that there is a box shape over here and it has different faces over here. So, this is exactly the mass, the form that has been created by using the tools in the massing inside that is an in-place mass tool and this has been created from the different tools that there are there in the in-place mass. So here is the massing inside you can find that there is uh, in the model by face option there is a tool called curtain system which is same as the tool that is present here in the built panel of the architecture tab for the curtain system. Now the curtain system is a part of the building maker tool which basically helps you which helps you to create uh, real designs from the mass that is uh, from transition from the conceptual stage to the design stage now let's say there are different faces the wall faces we have uh, in in a shape of a box let's say if I if we want to change them we can edit in place and we can basically change uh, one of the uh, face and we can make it a different shape over here so we are here and we change it like this now let's go with the curtain system click on the curtain systems uh, sorry click on the architecture and the curtain system here so you can find that there is a curtain system available here as 1500 into 3000 millimeters so this is a type of curtain system that is there and apart from that there there are certain uh, uh, certain grids settings over there grid 1 and grid 2 and other things are there like the justification and offset here in the grid 1 and grid 2 now there is an option here in the modify place curtain system by face in which you have a select multiple clear selection and the create system so select multiple is basically if you want to select more than one face so once you have once you are in this tool in the uh, in the contextual tab modify place curtain system by face so it asks you to select a face to add the correct the curtain system so it's very important that the curtain system is only created if you have an existing mask and it can be created on the face of the existing mask so let's select one of the face over here and let's say 1500 into 3000 is the grid. Now if you select more than one, you can go and select more than one because the select multiple option is there. And now if you want to create the system, you choose the create system option here and you can see that the curtain grids are created as per the, now if you select, if you select any one, if you select the curtain system, you can see you can change the 1500 to 3000 millimeter the spacing over here in the grid 1 and grid 2 that's clearly visible that the 1500 millimeters and the 3000s are basically the grid spacing of the horizontal and the vertical now let's say if i want to change it now if i want to change over here so you have a fixed distance over here you can add a curtain panel here in the curtain system say you want to have a glazed panel and similarly the grid 1 you can have it at a fixed distance let's say a maximum spacing of 3000 similarly i can have the grid 2 which is the layout i can have it in the spacing of 1500 and similarly what we have done in the previous section for the curtain uh, curtain wall we can directly go and select the adjust for mullion size and we can select the mullion type over here uh, let's say uh, i wanted to have a 30 uh, 50 by 150 and any one of them these are the profiles that has to be created and these are uh, existing in the family uh, inside the project so let's go and select the types over here so here we are after selecting the type you can basically go for an apply and you can see that the mullions are added inside the curtain wall now you can see that this particular face is now uh, converted into a curtain wall the good thing about is basically this entire curtain wall uh, another thing that you can see the mullions can be individually selected and let's say if you have, if i wanted to change this let's say this is the vertical face over here if i wanted to change into a curtain system select it and here we go and we can change it now we can rename it let's say right now it's a 1500 new 3000 or uh, we can rename it going to the edit type duplicate it or rename it whatever you want to go 
So this is, uh, you can change it to a maximum spacing. These are the algorithms which we have already been discussed. And here we go. So now let's say if I wanted to basically add some grids over here in the vertical face. So what I do is create system. Okay. Now go to the north elevation or let's say go to the east elevation here. So I have this option called adding a curtain grid here. Under the curtain system, there's a curtain grid. So we have option all segments, one segment, all except pick. So if I select it, if I wanted to add a grid, you can see the grids are added over here. And simultaneously, when the grid is added, the mullions is created uh, along with it because it's a part of the curtain system. If I wanted to add a single segment, I can add a single segment. So with this, you can see that uh, the, uh, the curtain systems are created from the face. Now, the other good thing is that, you know, this particular face if you modify it, the curtain system will change accordingly. So, so for example, if you go to edit in place, change the mass, massing shape. And let's say if I wanted to change the shape over here, let's say I wanted to put it a flat, you know, incline it towards the front and then let's say finish the mass. Now you can see that the shape has changed. Now go to the curtain system here and select the curtain system as a whole. Let's say if I'm selecting the curtain system here. And I can say update to the face and it will be updated to the face, right? Similarly, select this particular curtain system and say update to the face and it will be updated to the face. So this is the power of Revit and you can see how basically Revit uh, has a good kind of workflow from a concept design to the design uh, uh, design function in the Revit, how you can change the uh, concept into reality that's what the rivet is strong about hope you have liked this video uh, thanks for watching it and subscribe to our channel and wait for the next video we're having some interesting topics which is coming here thank you thanks a lot